Hello, hello, my lovely friends. Lissa here, and today I wanted to openly just have a little bit of a chat about expectations. So it's a little bit of a different kind of video, but it can be applied to so many different areas in your life, not just diet, but your relationships, your job, your goals, your dreams, and why expectations, I believe, are one of the biggest contributors to human heart pain. So let's talk about that in this video. The majority of us walk around our lives with a pair of glasses called expectations. And we look at our partner, our job, our diet, our goals, our dreams, the trip we want to take, all kinds of things. We look at them through this pair of glasses of expectations. So we'll use our partner as an example because that's a pretty good example for many of us and I've been through it as well in the past. But we look at our partners with a pair of glasses that we call expectations. So we place expectations on them and we also place expectations on ourselves. We expect them to do certain things or to be a certain way. We expect our relationship in general to be a certain way. We expect our lives to be a certain way and we expect ourselves to act a certain way with them in order for them to love us. So all of these expectations that we have, it's like a filter through reality. So if you're struggling with a relationship, you have to look at the relationship for what it is in reality. You have to take the glasses off and throw them away and look at it for what it is. Because we're living our lives with these glasses on and we're expecting these things to happen, but they may not be happening. So looking at people and relationships, jobs, everything in your life, through the lens of reality instead of the lens of an expectation will help a lot with our pain that we experience when expectations do not come to pass. We expect things to happen. We expect all kinds of stuff. And when we don't get it, we feel horrible. This is one of the major causes I believe to human suffering is that we have these expectations and many of them are unmet. So a great example could be a couple who they may love each other, but they're just not meant to be. They just don't work together. They're on different life paths, but they, can't, they, they force it to work. And I've seen this happen a lot. And that's what I'm basing this analogy on is the people that I have seen go through this who still cling to the idea of an ideal relationship or an ideal family. They're clinging to this expectation, this glamorized idea of what they think they want in their lives, but it's just not happening in reality. It's not working. No matter how much counseling they take, no matter what they're doing, it's just not working. So they have to actually take off that those glasses and look at it for what it is in reality. And then you can learn to grow from there. Do you need to stay with that partner or do you need to move on to something different? Maybe you need to be alone for a while and really work on yourself. But when you're looking at a situation through the lens of an expectation, you're probably going to get disappointed because if it's not working, then we have to take those glasses off and say, what is it about this that's not working? Is it not driving? Um, do we need to change? Do we need to change situations? Changing jobs, looking through the glasses, you're like, you have this dream job, but it's not working out. Maybe it's a long commute to work and you don't get proper breaks. It's way too much stress. It's not what you expected but forcing that expectation onto the job and saying, well, what if this happened? And what if this happened? The what ifs are going to destroy us. The what ifs are the worst. And this is where I wanted to tie it all into diet is that a lot of people have unrealistic expectations towards a diet. And they think that, for example, a raw vegan diet gets tons of high expectations on it. They expect that it's going to cure them immediately or really quickly. They expect that they're going to stay young forever and they're never gonna get old. The thing is, you have to take those glasses off and throw them away and look at the diet for what it is. It's hydrating, it's alive, it's natural, it's delicious, 
it's freeing, it's so many things in reality without putting on those glasses of expectations and expecting that you're never gonna get sick, you may get sick as a raw vegan. I know lots of raw vegans that get colds and flus and it's not that they're bad, they're doing something wrong or they need to boost their immune system or detox more or whatever. Sometimes we just get sick and it's okay. The body just needs to deal with what it's dealing with and it doesn't mean that we're immortal as soon as we go raw vegan. It doesn't mean that we're going to live forever and we're never gonna age and we're never gonna get sick. These are unreal expectations that once they aren't met, once once people get sick, they have an unmet expectation. And then they're like, well, raw vegan diet doesn't work because I got sick. Or that person is aging. Look at those wrinkles. Oh my gosh, she's aging. These are unmet expectations. When people see this, they just assume that the raw vegan diet isn't good because their expectations are not being met. And we need to take those glasses off again and throw them away and look at it as reality. In reality, this is just makes sense, this diet. Even, even if you're not raw, even if you're doing high raw and it's whole food plant-based, vegan diet, it just makes sense. So like I said, this video is totally just my thoughts being processed onto video to you guys. If it makes sense, it makes sense. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't really matter because I just wanted to share my thoughts on it. And of course we're gonna have some kind of an expectation because we want certain things in our lives, certain goals. But when we look at it through the lens of an expectation, then we can be disappointed. But if we look at it through the lens of reality, then we take whatever comes as it is and we just live our lives in that peace without being constantly disappointed by things that we just kind of expected. So we gotta get rid of those unrealistic expectations and the expectations on other people and on ourselves. And we just need to live the best that we can every day, making the best choices we can, feeling awesome, feeling happy, feeling in love with our lives. If you're not in love with your life, then make sure that you're not looking at it through a lens of an expectation. If you guys like this video, please click like, subscribe to my channel to get notifications for more. You can find me over on Instagram and Twitter at Raw Food Romance. You can find all of my eBooks right here uh, at payhip.com slash raw food romance. And you can find any of the print versions in the description box below. I have all the links for the print ones from Amazon. You can find me on Facebook, Lissa's Raw Food Romance, and on Snapchat, Lissa Raw Vegan. So until the next video, guys, I love you all. I just wanted to give you a big gigantic hug. Thank you so much for all your support, your likes, your comments, and all your direct messages. I really, really, truly appreciate you guys. And I hope that my message helps somebody out there. Like I said, this was just kind of me, just <laughs> So again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love you so much and fruit on.